Hi, kindergartners. I have a story to read to you. I love Curious George. Do you remember Curious George and the man in the yellow hat? Well, Curious George is curious. What does that mean? Yeah, it means excited to learn something new. And sometimes learning or finding out things and doing things that we're not supposed to can get us in a big mess. And Curious George likes to get into messes. So this title is called Curious George Visits a Toy Store. Wouldn't that be so fun to go visit a toy store with Curious George? But I wonder what kind of mess he's going to get into. This story is written. This story is written by Alan Shalik. All right, here we go. This is George. He was a good little monkey and always very curious. Today was the opening of a brand new toy store. George and the man with the yellow hat did not want to be late. When they arrived, the line to go inside wound all the way around the corner. That is a long line. When a line is that long, it is not easy for a little monkey to be patient. George sneaked through the crowd. All he wanted to do was to peek inside. <laughs> do you see him right here? And where's the man with the yellow hat? Clear back here. There's the path he took. George got to the door just as the owner opened it. This is no place for a monkey, he said. But George was so excited that he was already inside. Balls and dolls and bicycles and games filled the shelves. Oh, where is the man with the yellow hat? Uh oh, I sense trouble coming. There were so many toys, George didn't even know how some of them worked. And how about these hoops? What did they do? George was curious. He climbed up to pull one out of the pile. It could not move. So George pulled harder. Still, it wouldn't move. George pulled with all fours. Wait, all fours of what? Oh, his two hands and his two feet and two and two make four. So you can see in the picture, he is using all of his muscles. Should he be climbing up those hoops? Mm -mm. Oh no, suddenly there was a terrible crash. Red, blue, green, and yellow hoops bounced up and down and everywhere. Look, exclaimed a boy, bouncing up and down himself. Why, I haven't seen one of these in years, says the boy's grandma. How does she look? She looks happy to have found a hoop. <laughs> George is just swinging upside down. She put a hoop around her waist and gave it a spin. George tried the hula hoop too. Then George pretended to be a wheel. He rolled and rolled. Look, this character is also doing it. And the grandson, they're all doing it together. Do you have a hula hoop at your house? I have one at my house. And I have some in the classroom. And there's some at PE, you're right. Oops, he rolled right into the owner. The owner of the toy store shook her head. I knew you were trouble, she said. Now you've made a mess of my brand new store. Again, she tried to stop George, but again, he was too quick. It only took a second and he was around the corner and on the highest shelf. Below him, George saw a little girl point to a toy out of reach. Mommy, can we get that dinosaur, she asked. Do you see the dinosaur that she's talking about? 
Who is it right next to? George! George picked up the dinosaur and lowered it to the girl. She was delighted. So was the small boy next to her. Could you get that ball for me, please? He asked George. George reached up and grabbed the ball and bounced it to the boy. Was he being helpful? He was to that boy and girl. May I have that puppet way over there? Asked another girl. Well, here he is right here. And this is the puppet she's talking about. How is he going to get from here to here? Oh my goodness, on the light? That's wild! How lucky that George was a monkey! He swung off the shelf, hung onto a light, picked up the puppet, and put it right into her hands. What a show! shouted a boy. The children held up their new toys and cheered. But what a commotion! What does commotion mean? Yeah, I got a little crazy in there. There's a lot going on. Immediately, the owner came running, and then came the man with the yellow hat. I think we've had enough monkey business for one day, the owner said. Just then, a girl got in the long line to pay. What a great store, she said. What a great idea to have a little monkey helping you, her father told the owner. Was he really there to help? No, but they didn't know that. They thought he was there to be helpful. I guess you're right, the owner replied and smiled. Then she gave George a special surprise. Thank you, George, she said. My grand opening of the toy store is a success because of you. Perhaps a monkey business is the best business after all. The end. What was inside the gift that she gave him? His own uniform to wear at the toy store. It says toy box. Wow. So did it have a happy ending? It sure did. The owner realized that George was a very good monkey. He wasn't trying to be mean or hurtful. Yeah, he's a lot of fun. And there's other Curious George stories and videos out there that you might have seen. I encourage you to read all about Curious George. He's like a kindergartner. He's like five and six years old, and he's just curious about the world and learning about everything around him. I hope you're curious today and make lots of good choices. I'll see you next time. Bye!